Sometimes we wonder why so many unfortunate things happen to us in our lives. Today's liturgy will give us the answer. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. In today's liturgy, Wednesday of the third week of Easter, we come across the Gospel of St. John the Evangelist, chapter 6, verses 35 to 40. Very well-known passages to us Catholics, which begins like this. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Of course, we should not take these words of our Lord Jesus Christ, these sacred words which come out from his mouth in a very strict manner so as to just believe that with him we will not have hunger, neither thirst. But much more than this, our Lord will always provide for us. This is what he wants to convey to us in these words. And then, the, the gospel continues. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me. What is this that God the Father has given to God the Son? The answer is very simple. Are those who believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. We are the ones whom God the Father has given to God the Son. And what he means by these words is that he should not and will not, does not desire to lose anything, any one of those given to him by God the Father. Dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading, we have a narration from the Acts of the Apostles which narrates a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem. All were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the Apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house Dragging out men and women, he handed them over for imprisonment. This passage from the first reading looks a little contradictory to us, taking consideration to this gospel. Why would our Lord Jesus Christ, why would God permit this persecution to the church, which was essentially being born? There were very few members in the beginning of the church, obviously. And imagine, in the very beginning, persecute these few, which means the extinction of the church right from its cradle. But dear brothers and sisters, this persecution is exactly what God desired. Why? Now, those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. When the church was born in its cradle, of course, the influence of the church was confined to where these people were, that is, Jerusalem. But once the persecution started, they were forced to move out from Jerusalem and scatter themselves outside to the countryside of Judea and Samaria, and later on, even to other countries. Here we have today's lesson for each and every one of us. When we have unfortunate things, which happen to us in our day-to-day -day lives, death of a loved one, temptations, trials, sufferings, so many other things which might knock us down. Remember, God is permitting this to happen to us because in the end of the day, He desires our benefit, our progress in spiritual life because He cannot go against His words in the Gospel. I should not lose anything of what he gave me. God will never abandon us. This is the promise that he has given to us in the, in the Gospel of St. John. And always, in any occasion, when we are shattered to pieces by trials and temptations and 
difficult moments in our lives, remember these words, I should not lose anyone that has been given to me by the Father. God will not abandon us because of this promise which he makes to us, but especially because we are given to him by God the Father. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you in immunity forever. Salve Maria.